Hi everyone, this is Grandmaster Magesh Panchanathan with Coach Henry Hobson. Hi. Today we are yet again you know, challenge your chess coach event. Um, we had actually three coaches. Coach Ben um, might or might not join in, so we had actually added him for the thing, but not so sure about it. So right now we have two coaches who are, who are going to be playing. So I see I'm very small on the stream. I know. I tried to figure out something, and, and then I, I look gigantic <laughs> right next to you. Um, yeah. So okay. I think this is the problem. Uh, I mean, a combination of webcam and Zoom, I think that's what it is. So mm. you'll have to live with this <laughs> window <Cool>. for now, <laughs> Coach Henry. Uh -huh. All right, so we have a bunch of kids in here. So I want to make a couple of quick announcements before we start our session, guys. You ha you do um, see people who you can challenge. But before that, a couple of quick announcements. First, we are starting an online Blitz tournament um, with prize money starting today. It might not happen Fridays all the week because we started it on Friday, but then we also have a Mid-Atlantic Chess League that started and a bunch of our students are playing in it. Uh, I know a lot of you who are in this stream right now um, are playing in it. So it's a, it's a G60 game. That's good. Uh, so the Blitz tournament is just going to be fun, you know, it's with prize money. So next week we might change it to a different day so there's no clash with anything else. But that's one. And tomorrow uh, we have a chess camp. Me and Grandmaster Elshan are doing this camp for anyone rated over 1300. But there are some players under 1300. If you're between 18, 800 to 1300, you can still uh, email me or get in touch with me. Uh, we can try to see if you can still get into the camp. I guess that's the two main things that I wanted to talk about. And I guess we can jump into our games now. You guys can see the coaches and their ID. If it's too small, I will just read it out to you. Coach Emmanuel Carter is a national master. His ID is BM223344. Very creative. <laughs> and uh, we have Coach Luis, who's playing under Coach Anuprita's um, ID login, which is Anuprita19. So let's see if any game has started already. I'm sure someone has already challenged. What do you think, Coach Henry? Oh, I'm not sure. Let's oh, check. yeah. There it is. <laughs> There it is. Games are, yeah. have already started. Oh, yep. Both. Both players. Let's see. Every single time I add multiple games, chess.com adjusts, changes the screen size a little bit, so I have to resize it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go. So we have Mega Knight Arf, who is a frequent visitor to our <laughs> challenge, yeah, the coaches stuff. Text. Do you remember his name? I forget. I'm not sure. Who's, who's Mega Knight Arf? Whoever it is, we thought your name was Megan I I'd work <laughs> We we found uh, if we found it initially difficult. Being chess players, we should not have, but it took us some time. Um, but yep, guys, I'm not accepting challenge yet. I'm I'm starting to get some challenges. Me and Coach Henry, we have our chess.com IDs out there. Don't mm -hmm. challenge us yet. We usually jump in towards the end, and I'm I'm probably going to do some simul again, which was very I think very interesting last last week. How did it go? Did anybody take you down last week? I think Ryan Ryan flagged me. Yes. Nice. Good work, yes, Ryan. He, he, and I had this setting, which was switching me between games automatically. Yes. So when someone makes a move, it takes me to this other game where I was completely winning the other game. I didn't have to go there. I could have just played more moves here. <laughs> but it kept right, taking right. me all the right. time. So. Um... All right. So let's, I guess, talk about the game. We have um, Coach Luis... This knight is a little odd on c6. Yeah, I, on I'm, c6? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's a little bit not on the best side. Um, I guess he's trying to go for some pot, maybe some checkmating attack. It's still pretty interesting. But nope, Coach Luis plays knight f4, not allowing bishop takes h3. Maybe I want to play g5, g4. Is that any bit? I mean, you take only six of one, I I definitely like that idea because if knight takes e6, you play f takes e6, and you just kind of open that file, yeah. Right, right. But otherwise, oh, he went for it. Done it. Did it. Um, Coach E maybe not is not playing simul, so Mahati, you might have to just play one at a time, guys. I know we want uh, all of us want to play towards the end. Maybe I'll play some simuls, but for now, I I think I can play simul, but I won't be. Able to play simul and commentate. <laughs> that would be too much. 
I'm beginning to think uh, like Black's position here. Yeah, absolutely. Just G4 next. And then we have some room doubling up. Yep. Coach Luis didn't have a great start the last week, last week's first game. So let's hope he's not. Okay. <laughs> what opening is this? Uh, what opening is this? Let's go back early. By the way, is that a way to add a queue to people who are like challenging? I think Mahati seems to imply that. I didn't even know that existed. Can you challenge someone and have a queue? If you guys know something like that, let us know because we'll tell, let our coaches know. So yeah, it's a regular QGD, I guess. So nothing special, but then um, I think this attack is definitely interesting. So G4 is still possible. Yeah. I might even play Rook F7 first, yeah? Ah, uh, Rook F7, okay. With Follow G7 ideas or doubling on that file? Ooh, I hope the student is not listening to us. <laughs> Who is this person is, if you're listening to the stream, it's really, really bad, okay? I'm mm -hmm. going to find out by suggesting a horrible, horrible move, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. You know, we could do that. We will totally do that if you're listening to the stream. Do not. If you're playing a game, do not listen to the stream. Mute the stream. Make sure you're only playing and then come back. Don't look mm -hmm. at the uh, thing, nothing like that. Maybe queen takes f2 sacrifice is possible, yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it totally looks like it's Very a winning move. Strong. I hope nobody's <laughs> listening and, and playing that move. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Coach Emmanuel is doing in the meantime. Whoa, Coach Emmanuel is not doing good against Chess Adub. Who is Chess Adub? Oh, we're down a piece. We know Chess this guy wasn't listening to the stream. <laughs> he is down a piece. Is there any chance for him to come back? Hmm, I thought it was close. Bishop C8? No. Oh, no, you have 19 sixes. Mm, yeah. Well, but the the good thing is he's trying to trap the knight. <laughs> oh, I see. But but you know the bishop is still there. So I mean, so the bishop on F8 is still there. So it's not going to be. Oh, he's definitely asking for trouble. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Of course, leave it to Coach E to somehow come back in a game that he's completely lost. I do want to go back and see how he lost a piece, and um, let's mm -hmm. go back here. So everything looks about equal here. Three minor pieces, three minor pieces. What happened? Oh! 92 check. <laughs> 92 <laughs> check. Oof, that was not good. But yeah. he somehow, of course, managed to come back and win it. Now he's up one pawn. Oh, up two pawns, okay. Oh, three pawns. Oh my god. Four pawns. Every, every minute, <laughs> every second I say something. He's winning I don't think more points. Go up any higher than four, though. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go back to Mega Knight. So Coach E won there. Let's see what happened with Coach Luis. It looks like he is in good shape now. Oh, what happened? He picked up a pawn somewhere on e6. Okay, Rook f7 was played. Queen here, and then Bishop g4. Interesting. I'm not so sure about Queen d1. So he might have gotten away with this. Why not h5? Oh, I can't play the move. Just our common analysis, I realized. So queen d1 seems to be clearly just targeting this, but I think just h5, yeah? I think... Where's queen d1? I don't see queen d1 played. You don't see queen d1 played in the position right now? On the stream? No, I, I Mega Nidorf just traded queens on h4. I know, I mean before. So this is move 17 when Coach Luis played queen d1. 17, okay, got it. I was going back a little bit to see from... your analysis point. I just wanted to see how he got away with it because I think Black had a huge attack because Rook G7 and Rook F8 that looked really promising for Black somehow. Yeah, I see. Okay. Yeah, so H5 after Queen D1. That's right. So it looks like Coach Emmanuel started playing his next game against Best Mule. I'm so bad at remembering these names. I know all of these players. Somehow <laughs> I'm not so good at remembering these names. Wow, this is a very interesting opening from both sides, huh? I what mean, do we have here? So he is up a pawn. Yes. But he's, he's just played. opened up a huge diagonal with this king mm -hmm. in the center. Mm -hmm. I am talking about this, of course. Yeah, and white can try to, well, I don't know, maybe f3, try to open it up further. f3? You mean knight to f3? On to f3. Oh, white pawn to f3? Yeah. Oh, okay. Possible. I don't even know. I mean, why not just c4 was possible? Yeah, after d4, just play knight b3 or something. I don't know why he didn't play c4. d4, knight b3. Because I just want to open the king for now. 
Mm -hmm. F3 seems reasonable to open the rook. I think you just want to just get act activated the rook. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Ah, he's going positional. A4 and A5. <laughs> I mean, it's sort of in two of the bishop, right? I guess we always have C4 still. But... Yeah, this actually looks like it's maybe a little bit slow play from um, White. I think White probably has to play a little bit faster in terms of attack. So this game is pretty much ending. So let me go to the last because Coach Luis is about to flag Mega Nidorf. He has um, only 16 seconds left, so that's pretty mm -hmm. much coming to an end. So coaches, keep in mind, I don't want you to play the same players again. So if you challenge, if, if and also players, I want you to respect others' time. So if you have played one game, do not challenge the next coach right away. I want you to hang out here, analyze the games with me and Coach Henry, you know, point out some interesting moves, that's what we do here. We just have a good time looking at chess games and chess moves. Not necessarily play 200 blitz games in the given one hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, Megan Nidor, the, the the early middle game and opening went very well for them. But it kind of yeah. fell apart when they missed that h5 idea, I guess. That's right. Unfortunately, couldn't cope up with that. Let's see. Um, so that game ended. So someone can challenge Coach Luis if you want to. It looks like he did. Except a new challenge with Sai Charan. This is going to be an interesting game because Sai had a good chance of winning last time, if I remember right. He had a great chance of winning last time. He was up. I don't remember exactly what the opening was, but somewhere I just remember that he was he was mm -hmm. winning a game and then like up a piece or something against Coach Luis and then missed. <laughs> so this okay. is a nice nice um, challenge. I like this. We have the notorious French exchange. Yeah, Knight C6. What's up? With, oh, yeah, that, that seems a little strange because there's always. But I guess he's going to gas along. I don't know. Let's see what Coach uh, Luis is doing. The good thing about the French exchange is that it, it annoys the French players so much that they start doing crazy things to try to <laughs> unbalance the position. I think that's why White plays it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I think Queen D7 Long Castle makes a lot of sense. I mean, no, I mean it makes a lot of sense with Knight C6. Otherwise, Knight C6 wouldn't make sense. Mm -hmm. But now, of course, that's playable. Let's see what happened here. So we got a. A big checkmate, and I just want to see how that happened. Oh, London into a one move checkmate. Best mule, queen takes g2. That was end of that. Let's see what is going on. So we have more games. You guys can challenge Coach Emmanuel. He is right now available to play. There he is. A new game has started. And uh, so I'm always confused between Mahati and Manish with their accounts. I believe this is Mahati. Oh, sorry. Sai in the chat. QGD is Queen's Gambit declined. So D4, D5, C4, and then E6 instead of taking the pawn or C6 or something. Wait, Sai was asking about QGD. Yeah, it was a long time ago, but I thought I'd throw that in there. Oh, okay, I wanted to make sure because he's playing a game, and I, I was just checking to see he's, oh, okay. if he's he not. Didn't even hear me then. He shouldn't he be. He shouldn't be chatting right now, so he's not. That's good. <laughs> okay, so ooh, ouch, ouch. Why would we do that? No. Why would we do that? You should not be taking on e4. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> F takes e4. I think that was yeah, whenever I see that I, I usually try to put my own knight on e5 like knight e5 knight f3 that makes a lot of sense in fact now the the bishops get traded and the knight goes to e5 and then you get to play f3 and that's that's a normal way to play this right right yeah I guess that's a big difference right black's knight can be kicked with f3 but if white puts their knight on e5 you're not your pawn's already on f5 no f3 absolutely and of course black's play here is if, if I end up trading this knight with knight d7 or knight c6 then I get to play e5 too so that's okay but looks like this is pretty much game over now. We're just down a piece. So let's move on to the next one. Let's see what Coach E, I uh, mean, Coach, which one are we looking at right now? I'm so confused. That was Coach E. Okay, that's Luis. right. Okay, now we have Coach um, Luis. Looks like there was a trade on G6. Hmm. Now maybe Luis is going to play G5. That's right. So I, I like the space that Black has, right, Coach Henry? The space? The space. Seems oh, like Black has this this extra space. 
I mean, maybe mm-hmm. I can start bothering White with some Rook E4 or Queen F5. I, I mean, I don't mind Queen F5 at some point too, because if this pawn captures, then the pawn start rolling, giving me even more space. The Rooks got traded. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if Queen F5 is actually a move right now. I don't see a need uh, to trade queens. I guess queen e6 right. might be more reasonable, yeah? Is is g5, g4 a thing or no? I don't know if g5 is a thing, but I don't know if g4 is yet a thing. <laughs> the reason why I was hesitant to this is because these are light squares. And... Okay, for the queen? I might be dominating the light squares. In fact, probably I, I think white would start with queen e2. Actually, I have to say that black has to be a little careful. I mean, the queen trade exactly... Maybe queen f5 was strategically okay to do that because light squares would have been controlled. Because now, right. queen e2, yeah, I like this position. So basically after the trade, definitely black spawn structure is a little weak. I would say overextended. Because we're going to attack it with h4, bishop d2. I wouldn't even touch it. I would just play knight on g4 and then bring the king in. So that's going to give a permanent weakness. So this, this, these pawns are going to be permanently weak, given mm-hmm. that they're in the dark squares. But I, I really doubt that if white can do anything, because these pawns are fixed on like dark squares anyway. So, I mean, typically, if you have pawns fixed like that, you could create weakness on the other side. But here, I don't see that, that possibly happening. But this would be a very interesting endgame to see, particularly in a blitz match. So mm-hmm. we're going to come back a little bit here. Looks like Coach E won that game. Um, with an extra piece, so let's see. Usually, when, even if he's down a piece, so. Boss Pineapple is Arman, I believe. Arman is playing against Coach E. We have a Catalan, do we? Yes. So, for those who know, don't know what this. Oh, well, actually, it started as a Bogo Indian, Bishop B4 check. So, this E6 structures can lead to a bunch of Indian defenses, for those who don't know that. Knight to C3 would lead to the Nimzo Indian. Knight to f3, I guess, would lead to the Queen's Indian, and Knight to f3, Bishop b4 is the Bogo Indian. So, let's see what happened. Again, maybe we should do a lesson with Knight on c6. <laughs> okay. What's up with the Knight on c6? Okay. What do you think Who about this? Knight on c6 right now? What is that? Who has their Knight on c6? No, I, I went back to see how, they, oh, how exactly. the opening is. So uh, some moves I'm just going back and you, you'll be able to see where I am right. on the stream, I guess. So on the stream, I pointed out a move, Coach Henry. What do you think? Uh, I gotta, you got to wait seven seconds. Oh, that's right. So we have a few second lag. But no, I already did that like a few seconds before. So. Oh, yep. Although... Knight takes D7 was played. What do you guys think? Ryan is saying it is knight takes d7, pointing out to coach Henry, I guess. Were you able to see the move yet, Henry? Yes, yes. But, um, I mean, black could still recapture the knight, right? Yeah, exactly. How? Why would we want to take that bishop, right? I have to have a word with coach Luis. That bishop does not deserve to be traded. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think Luis might have been playing for tricks if he really played knight takes. Oh, he was trying to play for knight b6. Definitely makes, hoping that recapture. Makes, makes total sense. I'm just going to move through. But oh. Boss Pineapple 1600, he's not following this. That's right. Oh, by the way, this is not Coach Luis. This is Coach Emmanuel. No oh, wonder. Emmanuel. Oh, if it was Emmanuel, he's definitely playing for tricks. <laughs> yes, we have no questions. <laughs> here, here he's going to play. Oh, there's no trick here, I guess. Oh, we can. Yeah. It looked okay. like it was completely dominating, but it doesn't look that obvious anymore. I, I still think, you know, this knight's a big problem. Once I play Rook down there to the last rank. But I, I want to quickly go back to this end game. So Sai again is a good situation, but he's really low on time. He has only 24 seconds. I don't know if he can hold this. I doubt it. And he might have blundered a pawn. Is that winning a pawn? How does White save this one? And the cool thing is knight g3, if, and if g3 pawn takes and I can push. Oh wait, it doesn't work. Check. 
Uh, knight g4 check. Knight g4 yeah. check followed by bishop f2. I don't know if you guys are watching this, but I guess none of that happened. Did a trade happen? Okay, mm -hmm. so white is fine, but not on clock. I mean, white's position is fine, not on clock. Five seconds. Yeah, here with, with increment should be no problem, but definitely going to flag here. This is where you add insult to injury by throwing your bishop away as black. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Throw in a check. I'm impressed that he survived so many more moves. Mm -hmm. And the pre-moves were actually pretty good too. That's right. Okay. I guess it's hard to go wrong in the same game. But... Alright, so coach E1 that game in the rook and pawn game. So let's move okay. on to see what is um, someone hasn't challenged him yet. But it looks like Chess a dub. Who is Chess a dub? Don't make us go super strict on you guys. I know you already played a game. Didn't Chess a dub play a game against someone? When did Coach E miss 96? You mean after 97? They recaptured with Knight, so there was no 96, right? Or is it a different position? Um, I don't know. I... Says this is Chess a dub's second game. Oh, we have the. Chester Dub Police. That is that is right. I think there was a small lag. Coach, uh, Coach Henry, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Oh, yeah, I can hear you. I think there was a few seconds of lag. Um, okay. Guys, no second game. And if you keep doing that without listening to us, we'll probably start banning your account. And mm -hmm. say next week yeah. when you come in, we'll let the coaches say, these players you will put down on the bottom of the list. So you'll have to wait for like 15 minutes before you challenge someone. If you do not okay. listen to what we are saying, do not yeah. challenge someone for the second game right away. There are a lot of people waiting. Let them play. And I will play with some players too. So now I'm going to look at Chester Dub. When I'm playing a game, I'm not going to accept this challenge. <laughs> you guys have to be considerate. So let's move on to what next game um, for Coach Luis is. He is playing... Is he not playing a game? Luis? Luis is playing uh, chess the dub. Oh, the man he's the one who's playing, playing chess the dub. Chess no wonder. I'm, I'm trying to look at the wrong person. Chess pen underscore 2001. He doesn't get to play the Grand Masters. <laughs> so it says in the comments. Wow, this is too much space. It seems like there is a lot of problem with space which happened right here. Um, those are looking at the stream. Pawn to d5 on move 11, I feel is questionable. So mm -hmm. that just gives too much space, Coach Henry, is that right? Oh yeah. But now... What's mm -hmm. happening currently? Well, he managed to play f6, so he's going to trade on e5 at least. I don't know if that helps, because the d-pawn is super weak too. Yeah. Again with the knight on c6. If the knight wasn't on c6, maybe I could play c6. Knight c6 I seems to be our theme it, today. So we can't criticize him too much. <laughs> what is that? I guess we can't criticize knight c6 on the Roy Lopez, but. Well, yeah, know. at some point he does move, though. Um, yeah, knight a5, knight b8, something. Yeah, but I think um, that's been the theme of today's game, so. <laughs> knight to c6. Blocking your c pawn with the knight. I mean, you can do that, of course, if you know what you're doing. But a lot I of times... can't criticize anybody for that because I played the Chigorin for a very long time. <laughs> okay, well, you you're playing that with a purpose. You have you have an open, you have theory, and you're doing mm -hmm. that. That's okay. Oh, we missed Bishop F5. This is actually pretty good now. The only problem is now I still feel this knight's going to be super weak after Queen takes. Okay, so mm -hmm. Black still needs a few more moves to regroup. It's not going to be super easy. Right, and. Threatening ninety five, right? Yeah, this this looks really dangerous. All right, going back to Coach Luis's game, what happened here? So he won a pawn. So I'm just going to go back to see the position a little bit earlier. So knight b five, bishop takes, bishop takes. So this is actually a problematic position. I'm looking at move twelve in Coach Luis's game. In case you're not seeing it, Coach Henry. Yeah. I think the knight on b8 is trouble in this game. But going to the current position, looks like he picked up a pawn. Ooh, he got out of trouble also. I think he was probably worried about this pin. 
But now knight takes b2 followed by rook takes c6. Isn't it black up a pawn? Yep, looks like it. Is there any other crazy intermezzo we could do here? No, I don't see anything specific. Looks like black would be up a pawn. Oh, coach okay. Emmanuel won pretty quickly. How did that happen? That was a quick resignation. After queen takes what, c5. What it's still equal material and black resigned. Chess pen 2011 resigned. I guess he decided he had had enough. And that's it. Why did he resign there? I don't know. He's only down a pawn, right? And he's probably going to lose a second pawn, though. I mean, in all fairness, his position is lost. <laughs> oh, no, did he resign or did he flag? It's uh, zero Oh, he flagged. You're right. <laughs> you, you're right. He flagged. Yeah. I guess I didn't look at the time. I didn't that, expect I him to flag this that. early, I guess. I didn't expect this position to be a flag, so I guess I didn't really right. think about it. <laughs> so many pieces on the board. All right. So now... We have Manish. Struggling. The Who's young Manish one. Playing? Manish is playing against Coach Emmanuel. I guess he's taking his time. Again, we That's have good. one of those... Not coming. so much in Blitz. What is that? that? That's good for classical games. Uh huh. But I guess this g6, bishop g7 setup, what is this? And then knight c6? It's a combination of things that I have no idea about. Either Manish is playing yeah, some I, deep no, opening you preparation. Like that. Kind of what is that? I always take the pawn on c4 and play a6. I don't I don't know my Catalan theory. Okay, take the pawn on c4, play a6, followed by b5. Yeah, that's. Yeah, but then I play knight c6 for sure. But here there's but... a difference, though. It's not the Catalan because black played bishop b7. Bishop g7. So this but didn't it come from a Catalan move? Oh, you played. It started G6. very quickly and then moved out of Catalan. So he played G six very quickly. I think very early in the game. Ryan, this is not his uh, second game because Mahati was the one who played the first game. The they have a subtle difference in their ID. Two thousand eleven MBK and two thousand thirteen MBK. So you got to pay attention to the difference. So they're fine. Okay, so this is quite strong. So knight e5, knight takes e5, and then e4. I feel like now white's dominating. So these, these pawns are too strong. And the Locking. knight coming to d6 at any moment, not fun. Yeah, this is not going to be fun. And the only way this can work for black eventually is if f6 and f6 somehow breaks this pawn. Mm -hmm. But this just seems too, too far away. Bishop needs to get out. Too much. All right, let's go on to see Coach Luis's game. Oh, and 2013, he did. just dropped a piece too. Just so he did know. lose that pawn, right? No, he played knight c5 and ran into bishop e3, pinning and winning, I think. Unless I'm missing a tactic too. Yeah, that knight's gone. Knight c5? Are you talking right. about Coach Luis? I'm Luis's? talking about... Uh, Coach Emmanuel's game. Ah, this Coach is Emmanuel's game. I'm at the wrong. I'm at the wrong. <laughs> His opponent game. threw away a piece with knight c5. Ooh, so that just ended it. Mm -hmm. I guess this is basically game over, everyone, because there is no way to save that knight. Pin is a big, big problem. Um, I guess the move before you want to look at is knight c5. Looks like the most natural move, but runs into bishop e3. So I guess this game should be over soon. Mm -hmm. Oh. This is looking even bad now. Three pieces attacking that. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure. So, in the other game, actually, it's getting very interesting. This might be the first chance for someone to take down a coach. So I guess we need to stay with this one till the end. Mm -hmm. Coach Luis has 42 seconds. And uh, he is down a pawn, but he has a better position at this point, I think. Um, why couldn't we grab on a6? I guess I'm he's thinking? going for the attack. And it makes a lot of sense. So the king side oh, seems super weak. Sure. But the problem is he's just one more away from this. Oh, so that move doesn't look right. Queen b2 and I think black should be winning. Yeah, queen b2 hitting f2. Yep. Well, maybe possible to hold. Maybe not. Because it, I take on f2. Pace. Hard to hold in blitz for sure. Now, ah, rook takes f2. That was a bad move. 
I would have played rook check followed by knight takes f2. Mm. Okay, so I think unless Coach Luis gets a miracle, he is not in good shape. The only thing I can think of is if he can play super fast and flag his opponent. Yep. He's kind of doing that. He has gained like three seconds already. Yeah, guys, in these simple positions in Blitz, you have to really play fast. Like, we all knew Black was going to save the Rook and run the King up, so do it in with three moves, you know? <laughs> oh, look at that. But no. <laughs> and sometimes you don't pre move. <laughs> Just as I said that. <laughs> All right. Come on, you can still you can still time scramble him. Do it. Yep. Ten seconds, yeah. six seconds, but I think I think Coach Luis is Luis winning is this one now. That's over. At the least he's gonna get all the points. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. A yeah, great check me. comeback, I would say, for the coaches team. Mm -hmm. I was, that was That's too funny. close. So I guess um, just to go back and talk about the critical point in this game, I just want to go back really quickly. So this was the position I was talking about to everyone. After queen takes b2, rook takes b2, rook takes a6, there are a couple of interesting things for black to do. One is, of course, take knight takes f2 and go knight g4 to try to check main threat on b1. Or also start with rook b1 check, and then when the king goes out, play knight takes f2 and threaten rook h1 mate. That looks pretty strong to me, actually. Yeah, do they have to toss another pawn there with g4 or something? Probably, yeah. So, But then, yeah, knight g4 is another check that's coming up. So that looks pretty pretty lost, I think. I mean, there's too many pawns. So that would have been, that would have been a problem. Um, but anyways, rook takes f2 turned out to be a problem. Well, even then, of course, black should not have lost that. All right, tough luck, people, tough luck. All right, let's see what we have. Florina is playing against Coach Luis. That should be a good match. Let's see who's playing Coach Emmanuel. Nobody's playing Coach Emmanuel. Someone can challenge Coach Emmanuel. We have a Rui Lopez. All right, we have a game started with Coach... Okay, chess a dub is getting banned. Did he play again? He is he playing play? Coach Emmanuel. Coach Emmanuel, if you're listening to this, I want you to stop this game. <laughs> and I am going to officially kick chess a dub out of this. I think this is it. <laughs> I will have to find a way to communicate with Coach. All of our coaches, we are mm. not playing against Chesa Dub anymore. <laughs> Make a note of this. Yes. I don't know if you can convince Emmanuel to part with his rating points. Is this a rated game? This is too silly, people. Come on. We have been talking about respecting other people and having time. Who is Chess a Dub, by the way? I don't think I can see it right here. Let's not. Yeah, it's getting a little annoying. I think just out of pure, pure <laughs> dissatisfaction, I'm not going to look at that game. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's see. The, uh, the profile picture, it's a violin player, maybe viola. <laughs> okay, let's go back. So we have a nice Rui Lopez with coach um, Luis against um florina so mm -hmm. yeah blacks queenside pieces don't look too hot there knight on a7 bishop on a yeah well i i guess it's still playable though these things do do happen um the pawn and b5 is always a little weak but okay i think c5 is pretty thematic yeah these these things do happen but e5 i think was going to be pretty strong um, this is usually the typical balance mm -hmm. And if, if E5 doesn't turn out to checkmate black, then black will survive. Otherwise, <laughs> bad things can happen. <laughs> so let's see. So queen here. Here I'm actually curious. Why did he not play E5? E5 looks really strong. After um, queen to... What is that? Queen to E2 and knight to C6. I guess move 15. Move 16, I think white should have played 
e5, um, it seems reasonable because pawn takes, pawn takes, and I think both the bishops open up. I would have liked that, but I guess Coach Luis is going more mm -hmm. positional. He plays. There was also Queen takes b5 in that position, but okay. Let's go back to the live situation. Okay, so we have. Um, was white blundering knight takes d5? Looks like knight takes d5 was possible. Yes, I agree. That seems to be like a free pawn, yeah? I'm guessing Luis might have saw that. That's why he played queen f4. But or it could also just be hitting the knight here. Although That's now... Right. So how do we make progress here on the king side? It looks pretty difficult for black actually. That seems like a good move. The knight on a7 is in, in bad place. So that knight is only... I think that's the only move, right? Can can black actually play anything else? Um, yeah, yeah, there's, there's yeah. nothing else. <laughs> Who? this is looking dangerous. <laughs> Don't challenge again yet, so I, I think I think there are other players still waiting. We will give it ten more minutes, and then yes, you can. But by the way, Sai, I think you you played one practice game. That's good. You have a long game coming up for you. You're playing in the league, so don't worry about it. You should just watch the games, relax, you know, do some tactics to sharpen, and then at seven o'clock they're playing the Mid Atlantic League with some players, which is going to be fun. Mm -hmm. You don't have to say sorry, Sai. So that's fine. <laughs> So this pawn taking on h looks really bad now. This looks this looks like game over, right, Coach Henry? Was there Queen G three on the last move, even ignoring the uh, or Queen G five, yeah? Or Queen G five, yes. Oh, Queen no, Queen G three would have ran into Knight G four, right? Queen G five. <laughs> That's right. So now, I mean, it's still over though. Yeah. Luis is like, I'm not giving up any pieces. <laughs> And I guess queen h6 is coming up. Where's the meat? Queen h6? Can Actually, be... well, I don't even know if it needs to lead <laughs> to anything specific. It just simply looks like it's yeah, it's the end of everything. Even rook e3 coming over there. I can play knight g5 and then just simply play rook e3 <laughs> and rook g3. <laughs> tough. Tough. Florida yeah. is having a tough, tough game there. But it's okay, you know. I guess uh, it was a nice kind of a lesson in the sense that White had this d5 move and after d5 basically organized all the attack on the king side. I think Black should have done something more. So That's where did the... she go wrong in the opening? If you thought even e5 that really looked pretty strong. Exactly. I think even e5 should have been stronger for White. Let's go back. Um, so here you have to be a little bit more. Maybe rook e8 and bishop f8 is kind of... Uh, rook e8 is usually a very common move. And if you don't want to play this, so going back, so a4, I mean, this is actually, I, I don't know why this pawn's not being captured, by the way, for a while. Why not just pawn takes a4 followed by maybe knight takes e4 or something, I don't know. c3 hmm. is already odd. After bishop e7, they're supposed to play rook e1, yeah, that's what it is. I think it looks like the, the move order got mixed up and black did not notice. I guess, does this early move order with b5 versus bishop e7, does that matter? I mean, I always play bishop e7 there until they play rook e1. Is well, less this is still pretty standard, though. There's not any early move order. So b5, bishop e3, bishop e7, now rook e1 is a main line. Yeah, that would transpose back. I mean, like, I, I just know I always start with bishop e7 here and wait for until they are actually threatening the e pawn before I play b5. Does it matter? Is there any difference between those two? I think there is. Because if you play bishop e7 right now, there could be d4, right? I don't know. I'm not so... But b5, bishop e3, bishop e7 also can have d4. You're right. That's pretty much the same unless... It's the b5 move order. Is that what you use? I always play the b5 move order, yeah. Okay. So I go b5, bishop e3, and then bishop e7. That's usually what I play. So, I mean, there should be something. I mean, here, definitely, I would take on e4. 
because I think this pawn should be captured right now. And you can also play d5. I mean, even even if I lose the pawn back on e5, I think black should be not so bad. But okay, let's oh, go. Oh, you take on e4 here? You play the open Roy Lopez? But this is not the open Roy Lopez, right? Because I think the white has changed the move order. Rookie one was supposed to be played here. Open Roy Lopez would be right here. So if I don't play bishop e7 and take on e4, that would be the open. Oh, I, I'm looking at your screen. I'm, I'm a good 10 seconds behind you. <laughs> oh, okay, a few seconds behind me. You mean so, the position after c3. After uh, c3, take on e4. Exactly. After okay. c3, knight takes e4 is what I was talking about. Yeah. I, would just, I didn't see that on the stream. Okay. So I guess uh, we had a good discussion, but I guess we make you know, like jump onto some games now. Looks like Ryan is playing Emmanuel. Let's see. Come on, Emmanuel. Let's get one. Ryan got me the, on time last week, which of course means I'm going to play him again. I will have a challenge with them again this week. But let's see if the coach's team can get one here. Looks like a good position already. For who? Well, um, for Emmanuel, I think we have a okay. nice... Actually, there is a big blunder that's happening and nobody seems to be noticing. <laughs> ah, finally, finally noticed it. The knight on e5 was trapped for a while. White could have just played f4. Oh, <laughs> So those are the those are the funny kind of traps where you have a piece and sitting in the middle of the board and h3 makes sense because no knight g4 and after queen b8 f4 just wins the knight. Nowhere to go. Would have been a um, simple piece. But okay, now we have an interesting situation. We do have this weak pawn, but that's gotten separated. Let's see. I just feel like moving the queen too many times. That might be a problem. Yes, it reminds me. You know us, uh, Steve Wayne. He always is playing Queen B8, Queen E. Every time he plays it four times in a game, he's <laughs> <laughs> he'll get a well, hedgehog. In the I think he played Queen C8 mainly to have a sneak attack on H3, hoping that Emmanuel will not see it and just go for capture. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's offering a double pawn here as well. That's interesting. Yeah, and is the D pawn weak after that? Um, I, I'm having an question to see look at coach Luis's game but I don't have coach Luis's game right here oh it looks like coach Luis flagged we missed it oh no we missed a game oh yes he flagged against Florina this game wait let me go back here how did that happen you cannot lose this game <laughs> coach Luis <laughs> we left this game with queen on h6 knight on g5 knight on f5 and bishop oh, my, on yeah D4. I thought that game ended. Yeah, I thought that ended and then we started talking about the... I know. Well, I, I went out of this because I, I didn't think there's anything going on. What happened? Did, did he go for that rookie three? I mean, that looks so simple. He played bishop d5. I guess there are so many ways to win. One of them may be knight at seven, followed by bishop takes h8. But I guess mm -hmm. he played bishop takes f6. That's a mistake. I, I'm not a big fan of this. See, now I feel like everything is covered. Yeah, this... Maybe a little... Even this might be winning. But this is crazy. Mm -hmm. That is going to give Coach Luis some nightmares. <laughs> yeah, this right. is like yep. you you have everything you want. You have a dream position, and then <laughs> maybe maybe Rook to e three was better to play first, so there is no pin, and yeah. not allowing Bishop takes d five. That shows you how important it can be to just hold on in a bad position. Just keep trying to <laughs> make the only move. Sometimes it, it's worth it. That's a great point, Coach Henry. That's right. Yeah, to all of us who are listening and paying attention, you have a bad position and you think it's all over. But look at how this turned around in just a few moves. E5. Oh, so he's like going all out now. Still looks amazing with the king runs now. I think now it's too late. He did win a queen by free. <laughs> but, but I think at that point, Florina is trying to flag him pretty clearly okay okay so that's one one loss for the team um so coach Luis when you're ready for the next game you can go for it let's see what's going on with super soccer Ryan Ooh, looks like it's lost now where yes. did Ryan go wrong and an exchange down 700 pawns <laughs> what well, uh, he blundered here Bishop takes f6 he took with the pawn on move 26 so that probably oh, okay. I told you that D-pawn was weak. So I was thinking more after bishop takes f6, knight takes f6, then <laughs> e takes f6. Actually, that, that does look pretty weak because I think 
I could take take and play some queen b4 move or something. I think I'm pretty sure white's in great shape. Okay, so, so offering that's... the double pawn was not good. Yeah, I mean he's controlling the e file, so I guess that's going to make a big difference. There's not much you can do. So I guess d7, rook a. I mean this is just over. Mm -hmm. So we have um, about 15 minutes. So I guess in about five minutes, Coach Henry, we can challenge other students for a mm -hmm. simul. If uh, I mean, I can play a simul. Mm -hmm. And I would just, I still have the auto setting on, so I have to try to, but I, yeah. I really like the auto setting on when I have, when I, you know, when I don't, I'm not in serious time trouble. So I'm going to try to keep that on and maybe play really fast. Let's see if that works. Mm -hmm. Bye, Sai. Good luck in your game. Wow, Sai tells Lewis not to be overconfident. Lewis wasn't overconfident. Everybody's blown a winning position for a million in their lives. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear that. I didn't see. What is that? I don't know. Is, is he talking to Armand or is he talking to Luis? I don't know. Yeah. Be nice to our coaches, Sai. <laughs> Coach Luis is one of the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the game ended here. I guess uh, Coach Emmanuel... One Ryan says he missed knight to g4. Let's see, we didn't see that exactly. Which move, Ryan? Was there a tactic involved right. which could have won something? Ah, shoo! Move 22, Coach Henry. 22? Queen to d4 was played. <laughs> oh, knight g4 check. No, yeah, you did miss that stuff. <laughs> so, knight to g4 check would have been game over. Um, even though I'm not so sure with Coach Emmanuel, it would not be game over at all. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It would be what, very. Ga weeks ago, what was he down like a rook and a piece or something? Or yeah, I think he blundered his queen and a knight, and then in like back to back <laughs> moves, and then he came back to win that one. Yeah. So, anyway, so that's the end of that game. <laughs> what do we have going on here? Looks like um we don't have any special going on, so I guess we can start playing too. So. Mm -hmm. um, I will be streaming while I'm playing. So Coach Henry, when he's playing, he will mute and just play, I guess. Um, or actually, you can talk about your game too, right? But then, yeah. it'll, but it'll be pretty confusing, I guess. So yeah, maybe so we shouldn't both play. Yeah, yeah, we shouldn't both play and talk about it. So let's see. So I'm going to start with a few games. Uh, maybe I'll try to play like three games. And I will start accepting now. Go on, go on challenge. Um Okay, so I got one challenge. Uh, anyone can challenge now, guys. It doesn't have to be someone who has played. I guess you've all waited. I started one game. If anyone wants to play another game with me, you can challenge. I got another one. Oh, I'm all getting white in all of these games. Okay, so I got three games, and that's going to be it. Three games. And after this, Coach Henry, maybe you can play... Um, your game and you can stream, yeah? This is actually quite confusing sure. as the game keeps moving back and forth. Yeah, I can only spectate, I think, one of your games at a time, unless, they, unless there's another way to do it. You're playing three, right? I am playing three right now. If I click your name, it only takes me to one of them. This is 2011 MBK. Oh, it allows you to see only one? Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a way I can do it. I have to play super fast this time and not allow anyone to flag me. Hoo -hoo. Okay. Trade the good bishop for a bad bishop. I like that. Let's send the bishop in. Rook c1. Okay. Everyone is playing knight to c6. We got to do something about that, people. <laughs> okay. Let's go in for a queen trade. I don't mind that. Uh, he's sending me back. Okay. Okay. Let's take that. Okay, rookie one. Looks good. End game time. How am I doing on time? So far, time looks okay, I guess. Let's send this guy in. Best mule is the only one who's slightly out of me in time. I have four, so let's send this guy in. How about e4? Yes, I like that coming in. All games look good, but as always, time is the key factor. 
I guess I want to push all my oh I want a piece I believe actually I didn't never mind let's get all pawns in now I might have won something I think I might have won something here okay okay what do we do I guess he cannot take anything so let's just go in here okay so that might have been a blunder oh okay so I guess I'm, I can calm down a little bit now I think in every game someone blundered something <laughs> so oh except this one I'm still not completely winning I mean I'm, I'm much better but not completely winning Ah, it's good to see that in three games I still have no no one <laughs> making a move. Okay, let's get that one. I think I want something there too now. Okay, so I guess we pick up the free piece. Another piece. Not bad. So... The problem is we're playing this and somewhere we blunder something and then it's all it takes is one move. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, let's trade. New queen. Ryan, are you offering to play a simul? What do you mean? Well, I think he wants to beat me on time. No, he says he wants to play the simul with you, and he's going to beat people. I think that's what he said in the chat. I'm not sure. Ah, okay. Didn't get that. All right, ladder checkmate. Let's go for the ladder checkmate. Our favorite. Okay. When you're up material, trade pieces. All right. Thank you, best mule. All right, let's go for this check. Okay, let's trade. Trade is good. Trade is good. I guess I'm getting more. Should I accept right away? Guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this and then accept. I think that's going to put an uneven balance on my time. <laughs> so I'm not going to take that chance. <laughs> <laughs> so, because I'll start a new game and I'll have to finish the existing games with whoever is playing here. So let me finish that and then I can accept new challenges. And also, I want, um, maybe after this, Coach Henry can challenge, uh, play a game, and then um, we'll do it that way, Coach Henry. What do you think? Yeah, sure. Or if you want to play a simul, are you feeling brave enough? No more than two. No more than two. <laughs> no more than two. Fair enough. <laughs> and also, we have to, uh, do, do you want a raining cutoff? Oh, did I blunder a pawn? Yes, I did. Um, but it's okay. I guess I'm up a piece. Yeah, I, I don't want to play anybody under 2300. I want some good practice. Here. <laughs> that that makes sense. Absolutely. All right, what's left? We have one game left with Manish. G5. Maybe he plays G5. Would be nice. If he plays G5, I could checkmate. Oh, he did. <laughs> he did he did i was good at expecting these moves i guess all right i'm done uh so coach henry mm -hmm. it's your turn so if you want to play a game go on guys anyone who wants to challenge coach henry is id's new key chess go for mm -hmm. it you're going to follow the game i'm going to talk about it he'll be playing oh you're going to talk about it yep okay. i will talk about it oh wait you talk about it that makes more sense right <laughs> yeah all right I have Alexi the Beast, 1800. Okay. I can't, I don't think I can play two 1800s at once because I'm not even high. Alexi's a good league. player. <laughs> oh, look. All right. If I win, I can lift my reigning over 2000. So that'd be good. I can talk about anything that does not give away any moves. So, <laughs> <laughs> like my opening trumps. Guys, I'm not accepting a challenge yet. No, I'm watching Coach Henry's game. We're going to talk about it quickly. Yeah, I'm I'm only going to play Lexi here. That seems like a good game. 
All right, so I've gone for a very... I think this is a pretty bad system to play against the London. I don't know. Knight c6 and f6, Scotch Henry. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to play e5 eventually, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> I developed some of my pieces, so it's not the worst possible opening. Makes sense. C4, very logical. Good move. I'm not to play e6 or something. Maybe I can just take on c4. I'll take on c4. You keep the dream of playing e5 alive. We'll see if White spends time trying to recapture it or not. The nice thing about the Jagorn is you never develop your king side. Not really. Um, I guess I have to worry about bishop g4. Not really. Maybe if I play e5, that could be it. He's playing classical. He's like, I'm not taking the pawn back. I'm playing for development and advantage. <laughs> yes. Um... I can play e5. I keep, I'm probably going to blunder bishop g4 at some point. <laughs> oh, wait, no, there's no queen protecting g4. Anymore. Yep. Ever. I've lost my mind. Oh, now you can take on a7, but I get g2. Complicated. Maybe not complicated after knight b5. Maybe I'm just getting crushed. I'm hearing some uh, moves online. Two. Bishop takes c6. I was expecting that. Okay. Okay. So now he gets a7, and my king could be going for a walk. Definitely. Or wait, what am I talking about? I'm just losing a pawn. Okay. Um. It's disastrous. I shouldn't try to talk and play at the same time. <laughs> I'm not even doing. I'm not doing much of either. All right, so he gets e5. I'm going to try it. Um, I should four develop pieces. We have three pawns in a row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's if I was playing connect four, to... I'd be very close to winning here. I'm just going <laughs> to pawn on uh, b5. Yeah, if, you're, if only you had a pawn on c5. <laughs> Emmanuel challenged me. Emmanuel, I think I have to, I have to be the 1800 before I can... Play a menu. Okay, <laughs> so I want him to take on f6, but he's never going to do that. I guess if I trade on c3, my pawns become slightly less weak. Maybe. We'll see. No, well, now you're just going to use the b pile. That's probably going to get him. All right, hopefully I can convince him to trade on f6. Develop my knight. Try to get your knight out. Then maybe I'm not totally lost here. I guess I'm kind of covering the B file if I play rook B5. And you're covering the D file with the rook already on D5. <laughs> All right. So my pawn structure is terrible. And. Feels like I'm down two pawns because of the four versus two. <laughs> My four versus two is not quite as good as this four versus two. Okay, keep the file. I'm just hoping your four versus that. two seems more like a two versus two. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I like what you did now. Mm -hmm. Kind of getting your way out of this double, triple pawns. Ah, uh, he's doing the same to you. It's not nice. Um. Let's see. Oh, no. I'm not saying he'll do it, but I am pre moving uh, to D1 check. Okay. I like the chance, if you had a chance to play the deal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here, harass the bishop or something? Not really. So Ryan, uh, Coach Ben was not that. I think he came in at some point. Maybe he just didn't realize what was going on or like we couldn't get him on time. That's okay. We still had enough games. I will play one more simul at the end and then that'll 
we will wrap it up at that. I know some of you have already gone in and started playing your league games. That's good. Uh, Benjamin Snodgrass is one of our coaches. That's what no, they're referring to, Chess Boy. He's a national master. And uh, Ryan, yes, I definitely want to play you. I need I need revenge. Right, so here, Alexa, you should just play E4 probably. Chess chess boy. Who's chess boy? Is it Armand? Mm -hmm. But Armand, I thought you boss pineapple. You're doing good on time, Henry. Hey. <laughs> that's about all you can say that I'm doing good on. <laughs> um that's really important, I guess. <laughs> all right. I don't know. I, th I thought about giving the exchange, but I just beat me. What? What did oh, I do? Oh! <laughs> My entire rook? This is a disaster. All right. You you can, you can better start your slime when you can check back to see if I match a play. <laughs> Not looking good. That was, that was unfortunate. I guess it's one of those moves that happened in um, in, in our match against... Um, when we played the match against uh, players from Charlotte, we had one of those unfortunate things. Okay, yeah. so... Okay, Neil, um, can you call this number? I'm going to type in this number, Neil. You want to cha call this number? 6188182458. Give a call to this number, and Coach Anu will, will be able to help you with this. Oh, what he said, never mind. I didn't see that. Okay. Scratch the number. Nobody, nobody knows the number. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. I am going to play one simul, and that... Is it? By the way, after the simul, guys, there's a 7:30 blitz tournament today. If you guys are available. We have a price money blitz tournament, so you guys can play in it. Um, so let's go. I'm not accepting a challenge from someone who already challenged me. Best Mule already did, so I want someone new. So three new players can challenge me. I will accept the first three new players. I don't see a challenge now. Do it again. Maybe it expired. All right, good game, Alexi. Alexi did good. You had, you could. I, I thought you had a chance with with height. With you know about thirty seconds on time, I thought you had your chances. Yeah. But I mean, positionally, he was always better. Yeah, throughout the game, he was better. Ever since F six, at least. Probably okay, since we like started the game with Boss Pineapple. Wait, he challenged me for a three minute game. Okay, fine. Which means. <laughs> Which means I can try two games. That's it. I'm really bad at pre-moving. I'm like old school. Yes, did you get Armand's challenge? He's typing the I'm challenge. Playing, I'm playing Armand right now. I think Boss Pineapple is, is Chess Boy. Okay. One of his several names, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what is E3, Armand? What is E3? You set up everything to play e4 and you play e3. Okay, give me that bishop. Thank you. No one else has challenged me, by the way, guys. Armand's chances will go up if you challenge me. Okay, so what do we do? Let's get all the pieces active. Okay, the knight should find another place. Let's go around. Let's go here. Okay, Alexi is challenging me. So I got two games right now. And okay, thankfully Alexi challenged me to a five minute game. So I'm not gonna get- Somebody flat. challenge a one minute game. What is that? Somebody should challenge you to a one minute game. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's going to immediately solve all the things. <laughs> As it is, what am I doing on time? I'm actually doing okay, but not super easy, you know? Let's throw some old Indian defense at Alexi and see what he does. It was actually not the best opening. I hate this opening. I don't know why I play this. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those openings you're, you're like so stuck and you can't really do much. I know there's a book written on it called The New Old Indian. I always thought that was a good title for it. Oh, really? It's a new old Indian? Yeah. That's a they always like the new world Okay, version. free pawn is a free pawn. Let's go for it. But I'm really... Oh, okay, I'm, I'm doing okay on time. The only problem is... Towards the end, I think is when things get tricky. So let's go here. Hmm. 
Okay, should we take, should we not take, should we go here? Okay, I think I can do this. Because knight takes e5, knight to g3. So that should be okay. Let's trade some bishops here. Okay. 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 Thanks for that. Okay, he wants this. Let's send this guy in. I don't want any back rank checkmates. Always good to <laughs> get the king out. I know that's what. Did I actually take the pawn or did I push the pawn? <laughs> did he? Okay, I took the pawn. I was like, did I actually take that? <laughs> that looked a little scary for a second. Okay, let's just bring this out. Okay. No dangerous stuff. I'm actually kind of worried about this game because I am low on time. And this is exactly what happened. It kept moving me back to that <laughs> other game all the time. Mm -hmm. And I had issues. Okay, so clearly, what did I miss? Okay, I have to go knight c2. So I'm up like four pawns. No, I'm up three pawns. So I should, I should win this, except... Okay, so he wants a trade. Let's take that trade. Okay. Okay, I think this is okay. Should I cast the shot on long? What should I do? I feel like there shouldn't be much going on, so I'm just going to cancel shot. Okay. It takes d4. 104. Okay. Armand is dangerously getting close to doing this. Okay, he picks up one of my pawns. That's okay. Let's go back to boss pineapple. He picks up another one. That's okay. I think I got enough pawns in my arsenal to win this game. Okay, so now what do we do? He wants to do this. G plus if I can take the throw, let's do this. 48 seconds should be good. I got checkmate. I don't know why I didn't play rook to g2. I don't know if you can see my game. You probably cannot, yeah? Yeah, I'm watching your game with Armand. Oh, the game with Armand. I, I could have played Rook G2, I would have been forced checkmate. Now uh, I have to play a few more moves. Yeah. But I don't think it should be a problem. <laughs> okay, so I feel like I got a pawn. Alexi like probably... Ah, he's going all in now. He is going all in. But you know what? Should we let him go all in? No. Let's not do that. 28 seconds. How did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, got it made in two. Mate, in two. It would be funny if, if I am supposed to, I'm about to make a move and then it takes me to the next game and then. <laughs> yeah. That would be disastrous. So taking on g7 or pushing doesn't seem too dangerous, so let's just play queen e5. Thanks to my strong bishop. Okay, what should we do? The queen on e5 looks pretty strong, so let's just use this and not let it do anything. Might have risked a little too much, I think. Henry, what do you think? Maybe, oh, well, I shouldn't be asking you, I guess. It's not yeah. fair <laughs> to ask you what's going on in the middle of the game, fair enough. So let me play King Edson. I don't want to be in that long diagonal. Shoot, I just realized he could have played queen c3 and queen it's queen g7 kind of checkmate problems. Luckily, that didn't happen. So, I feel like I have really pushed too much. I was completely winning and now I'm playing like some ridiculous position. Probably lost already. Probably already lost. I'm hoping that he's going to play a certain move for a certain tactic and that that can help me maybe even then maybe okay so i was thinking of g4 bishop takes e4 he didn't play that because rook takes f7 check king g8 was what i was calculating 
Uh, luckily, mm. that didn't happen. So that's okay. That's okay for us. Um, I can still do Bishop e4, Rook g7, King here, Rook g7, check. It doesn't look so good. So why don't we try to get rid of this guy? I mean, like, I'm in super dangerous position with the pawn in h6. Wait, what did I miss? What is he doing? What is he doing? Bishop takes f5 doesn't look so dangerous to me. Is that what he wants to play? I guess that's exactly what he wants to play. Oh, he's saying bishop g6 rook. Ah, he is creating problems. I was going to play rook to d2 and then I didn't see bishop g6 check followed by rook, g, rook f7 check. That could be trouble for me. So which means I cannot take it. So let's just play simple chess. I'm up a couple of minutes so should be winning this one. But I think Alexi played pretty good. Coming pretty back from good. almost a dead position, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now he plays rook h5. Still creating trouble for me because if I play rook d2, he can play queen takes d2. Wait, he cannot because when he wins this, I win more pieces. So let me just do... Wait. Rook d2, rook g5, rook takes c2, bishop takes g6, check. Pawn takes. Rook takes e5, rook takes e5, and he takes that back. Hmm. Annoying, annoying, annoying. Rook d2, rook g5, rook takes c2, bishop takes g6, check. This is not looking good. This is not looking good. I want to do... Okay, I'm just going to have to play some move, so I'm going to play queen g3. He's continuously creating problems for me. The only problem for him is he has only 30 seconds. If there was another game going on here, I think I would have been in serious trouble. Oh, yeah. He has looks close to lost at some point for me. Okay, so now he's threatening rook takes f7 check. Seriously? He doesn't want to let me go. Let's just defend it. Okay, so now things should have calmed down a little bit. I should be able to send my guy in. Yep, let's do that. What's he doing here? Takes. Does he have rook f7 check? But okay, I just take. I guess that's it. All right, good game, um, Alexi. I think, I think I was much better, and I got a little comfortable and played some random moves probably and then you you came back very well and i think at some point you had pretty strong game all right um i guess we can wrap things up with that um that was a good session i get i guess we got a lot of kids and played a bunch of games who was that person that we need to keep an eye on what is it chess a dub yeah chess a dub okay we're gonna keep an eye chess a dub this was not cool what you did was not cool you played three games and people were waiting some of them got to play in the end again when once it, people are done playing that is okay um mm -hmm. again this is a place where we just challenge and enjoy um you know and play with each other each other and just analyze games so it doesn't mean that you always have to be be on the game so keep that in mind okay all right thanks coach henry and uh this is yep. grandmaster magesh signing off i will see you guys next week